This wasn't one of those trips you jump in last minute. This journey was a couple years in the making and we set ourselves to make this the best experience of our lives. When I was invited to this trip, I knew straight away we would have everything to make this a once in a lifetime trip. The place, the logistics, and the right group of people. It's no news Fiji holds world-class beer fishing spots, but what we're about to do was a whole different level. We've dreamed of this trip for 20 years, and you know we joked about it. We joked about having a big boat. We joked about buying a boat. You know we were blessed to have the opportunities and be exposed to a little bit of taste of the sea. And we were fortunate enough to have family members of, and friends that were able to give us taste, and we were able to tag along and, and say one day this is going to be our turn to enjoy it and, and be able to, you know, work hard and appreciate it. It took a couple years of preparation, but the trip was finally happening. We would travel a whole day by boat to arrive at our first stop. A beautiful little island with epic drop-offs and some insane reef. Everybody was on the same page. Even though the guys have dove incredible areas here before, the goal was to make this a 100% scouting trip. I'm no different than anybody else that is obsessed with the water, they're obsessed with the ocean, the, you know, the unknown, the explorer and the new spots, and that's what drives me every day, you know, like I've got this, like it's in my blood to just keep going and get bigger and get further and, and, and make it happen, you know. After all this effort and traveling, we were finally here. A beautiful bay that would be our anchorage for the upcoming days. Yeah, we got to the spot and realized that we didn't have any power. So we had to turn around. That's the way it goes. Expensive sunset tour. Yeah, it was a very expensive sunset tour. <laughs> and now, what, what do you expect to happen? Uh, that, see, that's a, that's a tricky question. Expectations always lead to disappointment. So I'm not expecting anything. I'm just going with the flow. When you put so much effort in such a trip, it's quite easy to be let down when things don't go as planned. There's so much pressure on diving here or shooting this fish that you end up missing the whole point of traveling, which is to have fun. We basically burned two generators and spent the first four days trying to fix them. That meant we would simply have to adjust our schedule and just do a day-by-day -day kind of trip. Nobody was let down because of that though. We were still confident this would be the best trip of our lives. And so we were back on track. And this time we were going straight for monsters. We would use this little village as our base and then explore the islands around the upcoming days. Most of it would be completely uncharted territories. If you don't spearfish, this is a very hard feeling to understand. The huge dose of adrenaline of jumping into the unknown in waters that are likely to be infested with sharks and accepting that we are not at the top of the food chain here 
while understanding that you need to be so tuned in and as calm as possible. We knew a uh, world record size Dogtooth Tuna could swing by at any moment. There will be a day, something out your darkest dreams, the time has come. There will be a reckoning, there will be a rise, something like you've never seen, the time has come. If looks could care If looks could care If looks could care Let it be all such a thing If looks could care You'd be dead right now He hadn't seen things like this, and, and I think that for us, when you jump in a, you know, you jump in a spot where he's he's looked at on his phone for the last two years, and he said, "This is the spot. This is the spot." And you, you kind of look at him on the way, and you're like, "Yeah, Google Earth tells you that much." And you jump in, and you realize, "Holy shit! Has National Geographic even been here yet?" Your time has come If looks could care If looks could care If looks could care Let it be all such a thing If looks could care You'd be dead right now Just like that, on the very first island, without expecting anything, we had some of the best spearfishing of our lives. We were finally here, on this beautiful little island. The first stop had been epic, and from here onwards, things were about to get really interesting. <laughs> 